What about jealousy in the Philippines? Um, somebody brought that up today. Um, I will add the fact that you brought it up in the uh, comments below. It's just I forgot who's mentioned it. I haven't had that problem, but I know some people have had some very severe problems with jealousy from Filipino women. Um, you've got to understand that the playboy mentality with the local guys is extremely common. Uh, I mean, like I've said before about my barber, I've gone to the barber to get my hair cut, and he introduced me to his father, his mother, his brother, and then he's on that sister. And I said, you know, and he's like, oh, you can have a girlfriend. I said, no, no, I'm married, I'm married. He says, oh, one, one wife, many girlfriends. This is somebody trying to introduce me to his sister knowing that I'm married. Now, this is why women are jealous. My wife doesn't uh, really suffer with this issue uh, because, to be honest, I'm quite happy. I'll, I'll put it the other way around. One woman's more than enough for me. I, um, I like life uncomplicated, uh, but also I'm happy, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, but the, the fact that a lot of these other guys, well even most of these other guys are the same, it's just that their wives are well aware of, well like once bitten twice shy, where they've had it with previous boyfriends, uh, previous relationships etc. Uh, but also they're aware of other people having an affairs. I mean, uh, I get to hear the gossip that goes on in Minganilla, even as far as Spain, uh, where there's people having affairs in offices that I'm associated with, there's people having affairs in even supermarkets that work together. These things are too common in the Philippines. So if your wife seems jealous, you've got to be, be aware it's more to do with insecurity than her wanting to gnaw your head off. and. Um, be, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it, you need to reinforce the trust, you need to reinforce the value and whatever, and make your wife less jealous, and it's not an easy thing, it's not an easy thing, I'll tell you that now, but what you can do is do things like, okay, what do I need to do to make you more at ease, oh, call me every hour when you go out, okay, fine, you know, I'll call every hour, I'll text every hour, you can phone me on the hour, whatever you need to do. Because what you're trying to do is reinforce trust. Because once that trust is built up, then it's very hard for people to interfere, because some of it is crab mentality, where people start playing people off each other as well. Um, I've had people, you know, Skyping me and stuff, trying to create trouble before. And I'm not easy to manipulate shall I say but the the fact is some people are some people get get into these chats where like some woman's sort of like battering their eyelids and they start having a conversation with them I say to my wife oh why is such and such on here today she sent me these messages or it's all out in the open because if it's all closed shop that's where you get problems and this is I know somebody was mentioned about chatting to other women online etc just don't do it <laughs> your wife's like, just don't do it. My wife's got access to all my emails. My wife's got access to pretty much everything. I don't even carry the bank cards. The wife does. Um, we have a lot of trust in our relationship. So I would just say you've got to build that trust up. You've got to build trust for each other. Because um, there will be stuff that comes along and tests you. But with crab mentality, it, it does actually try and get other people to play you off each other as well for a bit of local entertainment. You just have to rise above it and look at how you can actually beat the competition. Not beat the competition as in the other women, <laughs> but those that are trying to compete and wreck your marriage, etc. Um, yeah, don't put up with it.